Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. I got my first real film camera. Um, for the longest time, I've been like shooting with disposables. I've had just multiple like random little things, but this is really the first time that I've had something that feels significant. Now, as you know, I shoot digital. We have cameras like this, like this, that we're shooting on right now. And whenever I shot with just like a point and shoot type camera, I was like, okay, this, this is gonna be okay. I'm gonna develop it. I'm gonna get that kind of point and shoot look. And it's gonna be just an okay experience. I in fact maybe have four different point and shoot cameras with different types of film just kind of sitting there. I have no incentive to actually like process any of those, like take them to a shop and actually process them. But with, with this, this feels so much different. Like if you didn't know, this is the Canon AE-1 program. Um, this is actually the perfect camera for me. So we can see the camera here. I have the classic 50 millimeter lens on here and inside, I've actually splurged a little bit and put Portra 800. So this is, this is something that just, these pictures will look nice. Regardless of how much um, effort I put into it, the pictures will look nice. And, and the reason why it just feels so much different and, in, and really entices me to get done with this roll of film as quickly as possible, but using it effectively as possible, is just the look and feel of this camera. Like this one feels like a significant camera. The other ones are plastic. Um, there's one that's kind of like a point and shoot from like the mid 2000s. But this one, if I want to in the future, I can always change that lens. I can have a really, really good experience with this. And I'm still learning a lot to do with just manually using these kinds of cameras. Just because whenever I shoot any of the cameras that I have here, everything is gonna be on automatic settings with aperture priority. That's just how I shoot casually, professionally, that's just, it streamlines the way for me to do as much as possible with my, uh, with my equipment. But for this, this is one of the only models because this is a special program version of this camera that you can set absolutely everything to automatic. And you may think, yeah, that's just like a bastardization of a camera and you shouldn't be using it this, you should be using it manually. I don't have the, I don't have that kind of time when I take a photo. For me, it's something I have to look at and I have to take that picture immediately. And the only thing that's now different between this and shooting digital is I just have to manually focus. Like there's gonna, do, there's nothing going to automatically focus this for me. So that is the only key thing that's gonna differentiate this from this. And of course, only 36 exposures if I choose to put a 36 roll. But let me just tell you my experience with this. I have been so happy just kind of using this. I got this from a friend and it was just like the experience of shooting it. I just, I have to tell you, I have not gotten any of this processed yet. And you may think, okay, that just slow down. But it, the way it feels, the way you get this proper depth of field, because this is a 50 millimeter lens, a 1.4, it just, I know, and I can feel that these pictures are coming out. Um, the first roll that I did, and I haven't really gone back and processed that yet, was just Fujifilm 200. And I like to shoot around my apartment here. I use my cats as models, and sometimes I, I really like dim low light. I like this kind of mood lighting. It's what really works for me. But what I was figuring out and finding out, setting this camera to me using a 200 speed film, it was just like, it was click and the shutter had to be open for a while. And I was like, I know that these pictures are gonna be blurry. I just knew it from the get go. So again, I went and got Portrait 800, and even in these low light conditions, of course it's helped by this 1.4 lens. It's just going really quick. It is just really making sure that 
I'm not going to be getting super shaky footage. I got to I got to stabilize myself because the shutter on this, let me make sure this is locked. I have inherently like I believe the sh yeah, definitely the shutters on these digital cameras are a lot softer. I notice that when I'm taking a photo, I'm at, like actually pulling the camera and it's something I have to kind of get out of that habit too. I have to stabilize everything, but this camera being as heavy as it is um, yeah, if this wasn't a one take, this would be so annoying. But anyway, it's just something that I, the weight and feel of this camera, I cannot describe how good it feels to have this in my hand and just, it feels right. So guys, if you've ever shot with just a disposable camera, a point and shoot or anything like that, Having the experience of something like this, now this is not something that everybody has access to or can afford, this is something that really, really changes things. And if you can, try to borrow it and see maybe if you can go through a roll of film and see what it really, really is like. When I'm done with this roll of film, I definitely will be, yeah, I definitely will be showing you guys the results. Um, I live in New York here, so I'm probably going to be using um, a development place called Sammy's. It was really recommended, um, good price, um, really good good quality and processing, which I believe they say matters a lot, but got to do this. I'm really looking forward to it. So I have 36 exposures. I am on 21, and it's been maybe about, it's been about a week shooting with this, maybe five days. So I want to do this right. I want to not waste a bunch of pictures because processing is going to processing is going to take a lot, cost a lot of money. The film costs a lot of money. So we'll see exactly how this goes down the line. But yeah, I'm going to definitely show you how this is. And maybe maybe I'm going to find this older automatic camera can't really do automatic well. Just having this as an option really helped me just be comfortable enough to purchase the camera and just begin using it because literally it is just focus and get that shot done. So guys, if you have any questions, comments, if you have your own camera, any recommendations, also just the automatic feature on this really, really work, please let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget guys, I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching guys. Again, we've been taking a look at the Canon AE-1 program. God, this is just, it's a beautiful looking camera and just the weight of it is great. But thank you guys, I'll see you next time.